Good morning, world. This is Dr. Rico Short, the Root Canal, special to the stars, the Grace Life teacher, the inspirational motivator for you on this magnificent Monday. Today, I want to talk to you guys about wet wood. Wet wood. Have you ever been camping before and you tried to make a fire, but all the wood around you is wet? Guess what? that wood won't be able to catch on fire. Likewise, we have a fireplace in our home and we get logs um, that some people chop up for us and sometimes we don't get them covered well and it rains and I'm ready to put that wood on that fire and guess what, it won't burn. So you say, Dr. Short, what are you trying to say? What I'm trying to say is that if you're around people that aren't on fire for God, you are around wet wood. Let that soak into your spirit, literally. If you're around people that are not on fire for God and His goodness and His glory, you are around wet wood. And what, what is that going to do? That's going to put your fire out. So you don't want to be around wet wood. And you say, well, Dr. Short, well, I don't want to be alone. Well, I'm going to tell you, it's better to be alone than be around wet wood. It's better to be alone than be around Debbie Downers. It's better to be alone than be around David Doubters. <laughs> you have to be around some faith-filled people so your wood don't get wet. So you want to keep your wood dry so that you can stay on fire for the Lord. You want to keep your wood dry. You say, well, Dr. Show, how do I keep my wood dry? Well, the way you do it is by hanging around the word of God, number one. Number two is prayer. Number three is attending some type of um, church service that they are preaching the word of God in context. And number four is trying to be around people that speaks into your life because you don't want to be the person that's always speaking into someone's life, but they're not speaking into yours. You know, that's casting your pearls to swines. If you're consistently doing that, it is going to cause your wood to become wet and then you will start burning out, so to speak. So today I want you to do a self-assessment. Now you think about it like, Lord, First of all, ask yourself, am I wet wood? Was I one point on fire for you? Was I one point sharing the gospel with other people? Was I at one point loving the people who maybe not even love me back? And if the answer is yes, that means you are wet wood and you need to what they call dry out. And you know the best way the wet wood dries out? Is by leaving it out in the sun. Ooh, that's a word right there. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for that. The best way wet wood dries out is leaving it out in the sun. And I'm not talking about the, just the S-U-N. I'm talking about the S-O-N. See, when you spend time with the sun, who is Christ Jesus, your wet wood dries out and the Holy Spirit ignites you. Did you hear what I just said? When you spend time with Jesus in his word, what happens is the wet wood, the wetness that you have dries out and the Holy Spirit is the spark that puts you back on fire. And you say, well, Dr. Sure, what do you mean by putting me back on fire? Does that mean running all over the church? Does that mean shouting and turning over benches and kicking my shoes off? No, I'm not talking about that. That's, that's spiritual emotion. What I'm talking about is being on fire for the Lord. That means that at any given point, God can give you a revelation to help not only your situation, but somebody else. Because you are on fire with the word and you become a conduit. You become like copper wire that can pretty much transport temperature very easily. And you're not like rubber, which is a good insulator, but it's a poor conductor. Did you hear what I just said? You become like a copper wire. You're able to conduct 
heat and cold very easily as you are dried out by the Son of God <laughs> and you become very proactive in helping people understand who they are in Christ Jesus. And that's, at the end of the day today, that's what I want to talk to you guys about, man. About drying out and being around Christ-like believers. So your wood won't become wet. And I was reading a study that talked about the wood don't have to be saturated to not burn. It only needs 40 to 60% of saturation so that wood won't burn. So who are you around today? Do a self-assessment. Say, well, Dr. I'm not around people, but who are you listening to? Who's influencing your life? Is it TV? Is it artist? Is it Megan Thee Stallion? <laughs> Is it Drake? And I'm not saying it's nothing wrong, wrong with those people. Man, those people are talented artists. And I believe that God has given them a unique gift of communication and entertainment. Now, I do believe that they could be using that gift wrongly. And to be honest, I like some of their music. I like the beats. I just don't like the lyrics or what they're saying. Why? Because it creates wet wood. It puts the spirit out that's in me. And I want to be more like Christ Jesus than anything else. I don't really want to be popular. That's not what God has called me to be. God has called me, and I believe he called other believers to make a difference, to be impactful, to be able to change lives by the way people think about themselves and about their environment and about just, you know, life in general, man. And we do that by spending time in the word of God and other people that are on fire for the Lord, for the Lord. So I know this isn't a message today that you want to get up and run around and thank, thank you, Jesus. And it's not a message of, oh, man, God is going to rain all this prosperity. God is going to take care of all my problems. No, it's not this kind of message this morning. This morning is a message of self-assessment. Who are you around? Who are you listening to? Who's influencing your life? Because if you're not around people that are on fire for the Lord, if you're not around people that are speaking positive things into your life, it's easy to become wet wood. And wet wood is good for nothing. <laughs> Did you hear what I just said? Wet wood is good for nothing. But if you want to get out of the rut, if you want to get out of the rat race in life, if you want to be able to experience the grace life that I always talk about, Allow the sun to dry you out and spend time with him, man. It reminds me of um, this weekend, man, when, you know, it's been kind of chilly in Atlanta. But this weekend, this Saturday, man, we were out at a track meet. When that sun came out, man, it got so hot. I was like, my goodness, man, it is hot out here. So <laughs> anything that was wet dried out. And it was hot. But when that sun went down, guess what happened? Things started to cool off. And you can feel the, the dampness back in the air. So it just kind of remind me of the message that I'm telling you today, man, about staying on fire for the Lord and being around other people so that your wood don't become wet and you can keep burning and stretching and growing and being everything that God has called you to be. And not only that, man, you can be an influence. God has called you to be an influence to A, your family, and if you have children, and B, other people around you. Because there are people that are around you that are listening to you. There are people around you that are watching you. There are people that are around you are taking note of the decisions that you make or the decisions you don't make. 
And you wanna make sure that those are godly decisions because what good is it to have people follow you and you going straight toward a ditch? <laughs> straight toward a ditch because you're trying to follow what's popular. So I hope you got something out of this message today um, about being around wet wood versus being around people that are dry wood and that are on fire for the Lord. Love y'all, man. You have a great week, a magnificent Monday. This is Dr. Rico Short, the Root Canal Specials to the Stars. If you got some out of this message, please share it. I post these messages on YouTube. You go and check them out. And I know that it will help you in every area of your life. Grace life. Peace.